just started the 2022 Grand Depart of the Tour Divide. Most of the ladies started together at 7.10. There's a staggered start this year since there are just so many people, which is kind of nice. It's not chaotic out here. got done with probably one of my favorite sections of the whole route <laughs> some beautiful single track it was just so much fun <laughs> uh, I'm really happy right now just had my first resupply of the route got some pizza at the Bolton trading post and uh, have enough food to get me to Fernie a little hike a bike action I know it probably doesn't look that's steep, but I promise it is. Oh, I just went over Elk Pass. There were reports of bad snow, but it was a little bit muddy, but it, the whole thing was rideable, even on a single speed. Picking up the Cocoa Claim section. Kind of a notorious hike a bike. Oh man, look at this view behind me. It's 9.30, still light out. This road is a bit flooded. Oh, it's shin deep, which is more than hub deep, so I'm carrying the bike. It's day two on the Tour Divide. I recently left Fernie after a McDonald's and grocery stop. Last night, I rode till about 11.15 or so when it was dark and bivvied on the side of the road, set my tarp up, um, and it did end up raining um, a little bit overnight, but it's been raining all morning long. Roads are a bit sloppy today, and it's a delicate balance between staying clean and dry and uh, not sweating too much. Going through the flathead section, there's lots of water. It's so green and beautiful and really remote. I hope the river doesn't get much higher for the sake of the riders coming after us. I am currently climbing the wall, uh, taking a little breather. Um, I literally just got done like picking my bike up by the front wheel and just like dragging it up. There was my camp set up for last night in Eureka. That table was clutch. Uh, I'm gonna go resupply and then head out for today. All right, I'm in Montana now. Everything is very wet and green. I wasn't really planning on making it to Eureka last night, but I was like climbing up Galton Pass at 9.30, 10. I wanted to go to sleep at 11 if I could, but there was so much snow up there. Uh, it would have been really dumb to camp and it was really pretty cold. I didn't really want to camp on the descent either and have to start going downhill because it was supposed to dump heavy rain last night so I ended up having to go all the way to Eureka because there was private property between uh, the US border and Eureka and it dumped this morning it felt so good being in my warm sleeping bag well the theme of pushing through snow is continuing here we go I'm taking a little break to let my stuff dry out. Limiting stop time is important, but so is having dry feet and dry tarp and bivvy. Here is Red Meadow Lake, covered with ice and snow, starting to break apart. 
Mad props to whoever went through this first. Whitefish Lake, I forgot how epic that descent is. After we walked through a bunch of snow, of course. This has just been like a blissful day. I'm tired this morning. Last night especially kind of had a hard time sleeping. You know, the grizzly bear paranoia situation. It dumped rain a lot last night and this morning. And actually once that started, it kind of helped me sleep. Cause then I, like every little noise wasn't waking me up. Managed to keep all my gear pretty dry still. So I feel good <coughs> about camping again tonight. I am currently eating a croissant. Everything at the grocery store sounded gross yesterday, but these are plain and pretty easy to eat and high calorie. So I got some of those. They're pretty tasty. Drying stuff out. The sun was out a little bit. There are a bunch of mosquitoes here, but I treated my clothes with permethrin, so they're ah, mostly leaving me alone. Um, then I need to fix my saggy chain, so I'm gonna do that while stuff is drying out. It's almost three o'clock and I may have like 58 miles. I'm trying my best to stay positive. I feel feeling a little discouraged, like not making as much progress as I would have hoped. I need to get myself on an earlier schedule. I think that'll help me mentally. Right, it's just felt like a lot of stop time today, but you know, it's that's part of it. Everybody has body and bike things they have to do. I'm a little bit nervous about heading up into the mountains, into the snow and the rain, but I've got lots of stuff to stay warm. It would be silly to camp up there, but you know, if something happened then whatever, I'd be able to survive up there. It's really snowing now, about a mile from the top. I am looking forward to getting down. What a special moment to be up here while it's snowing. All right, I just got done from a detour um, from Sealy Lake. I decided to get some hot food. It's been snowing. Um, and I slept under a church porch with a few other dudes. That's a roll into oh. Obando. See why people get excited about that town. It's in the middle of nowhere, but they got all the stuff you want. Apparently there's a wind advisory, but it's gonna be a tailwind, so that's great. There they are, the infamous single speed crew. They end up together because, you know, single speed. That is very Montana. I just seen these jalapeno chips, which are delicious, but <laughs> it went down the wrong pipe. Then I caught it on my nose. So now my whole throat and my nose are really burning. Okay, at the top of another snowy pass. Something growled at me on the way up. That kind of freaks me out. Pushing up Stimple Pass, not too far from the Llama Ranch. And I decided if I got there after 8.30, I would stay there. It is looking like I'm gonna get there later than that, if not really close. minutes ago at 5 30 this morning which is later than I told myself I was gonna get up that's kind of what happens when you sleep in bed and also I told myself it was not gonna rain it's not the wind is gonna die down and it's freaking raining and it's windy as hell so <laughs> I guess that's the danger of getting your hopes up it got me through yesterday but <laughs> I need to be a little more mentally flexible today Thank you, John and Barbara, for creating that beautiful place on your ranch for people doing the divide to come and rest. Oh, I'm just so grateful for that. This meadow is just beautiful. It's still freaking cold, but um, I'm hoping that 
bit of a warm up today. Yesterday it didn't get above 41 degrees according to my Garmin. Oh my gosh, I have never been so grateful for the sun. It feels so good. Just leaving Helena. See these things on my face? Sunglasses. Yay. It is really windy. to the next stop so I just got some breakfast I had a lot of stop time the past few days just managing layers and I was like really bummed about it but I think I shouldn't be too hard on myself because I could keep myself happy in my temperature where I needed it to be to still like feel good and happy to be out here and I think it's important to not lose that sense of gratitude I'm able to do this. A few times a day, more than normal, just to uh, try and keep my mouth happy, especially after like I eat a bunch of candy. It's a little bit sandy in this section, but it hasn't been most of the most of the time. It's been a nice gravel road. This part of the trail is a little blown out. About to descend down into Butte for dinner. That was a slow stop. I went to Safeway. They didn't have any hot food. So then I went to a food truck, which took forever. And I kind of dilly-dallied a little bit. But now I'm on my way, probably go another hour or so. Well, I had to do it at least once. Sleep in a toilet in bear country. Very luxurious. I wasn't expecting the view of those snow-capped mountains here. That's, that's really cool. They're probably itty bitty on the screen, but there are some moose up there. I'm hiking up to Fleecer Ridge. I'm excited for the view at the top. Woohoo! I could probably ride it with a dropper, but I've heard enough stories of people crashing on this, so I'm gonna play it safe. It's a long race. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to make up some time on this uh, that section. super bright, getting warmed up. Feels like I'm way out here. I'm headed toward uh, Lima. Should be there within a couple hours or so. down a little bit. Doing a little bit of climbing now. Made it to Idaho. Nice Red Rock Pass. Idaho Montana border. Real trail on Day nine. Look at all these wildflowers. Oh man, what a beautiful morning. See the river down there. Yesterday was very mentally challenging for me with all the wind. I was hopeful that it was going to be a bigger mileage day since there wasn't um, that much elevation but it ended up being really, really slow. 
But today's a new day. It's going fast so far. The sun's out. Grand Teton National Park and Jackson Lake. It looks pretty low and brown. Here we go again. Raining. I lost my right rain mitt, so I am currently using. It stopped raining, but the uh, road is quite muddy. Man, this headwind is killing me. I just had to stop and take a 15 minute nap. I feel much better now, but oh my god, it's, it's just such a slog. Some cake in a bag. Getting the bike loaded up. Oh my gosh, look at how dirty that is. I am loaded down to get all the way to Wamsutter. The wind has died down, so hopefully it'll be a better ride tonight. If I'm feeling good, I might I might ride a little later tonight, um, just because the wind is gonna be shitty tomorrow too. I'm missing all the birds and the frogs. It was very cold when I woke up this morning. It's hard to get out of my sleeping bag. It's covered in uh, covered in frost, like pretty decent layer of ice on all my stuff. Also, I've had roadside diarrhea twice today, so that's not great. Yeah, time to uh, clean the chain. Yesterday was very rainy and muddy, so. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. I really hope that my stomach turns around. I think maybe I just ate too much yesterday. My body couldn't really process it all. Everybody's dream! A tailwind in the basin. I'm getting pushed along by the storm that's behind me. I had to work really hard to stay ahead of it. Uh, going into Atlantic City. Feeling really lucky to have uh, dodge rain and still have a tailwind in the basin. About 15 miles to Wamsutter. This road has been recently graded which is freaking amazing. I feel very lucky today. I camped like 10 miles outside of Wamsutter. I wanted to kind of get out of town because I know that there are uh, a lot of oil trucks and stuff. I'm gonna be in Colorado today. On day, I think 12, 11, 12? I don't even know anymore. I'm really impressed with how my butt's doing. Like even with more pedaling yesterday, it feels totally fine. I did run out of uh, like wet ones five or six days ago in the at the gas station that I resupplied at for like two consecutive uh, resupplies. They only had alcohol wipes. And so I was like, well, shit, I guess I'm using alcohol wipes on my ass. It's pretty savage, but I feel like it does a really good job of keeping me clean. Even though it uh, it definitely burns, <laughs> I might keep using alcohol wipes, honestly. All right, I'm in Savory, Wyoming, at the museum here, community center. And uh, they let me spray off my bike. And it was covered in mud. Okay, it's time to uh, tension the chain again. A little too much slack. Oh, Whew, just leaving Brush Mountain Lodge. Kirsten wasn't planning to be there this summer, but um, she was there and good friend Jolly. Oh. It's so good to see her, but 
Damn, I wish I could stay. Colorado, aspens, wildflowers, hiking up Sand Mountain. I uh, might make it to the Clark store, but it might be closed by the time, ooh, by the time I get there. I'm descending down Sand Mountain. Um, I accidentally dropped my sunglasses somewhere in the last quarter mile up there, but um, there was also a mountain lion up there, so I did not turn around to go get them. These glasses are new, very stylish, I know. Um, they're the only ones that they had in the Ace Hardware at Pinedale. Did a little bit of single track around the lake. Um, I stopped to adjust my cleats real quick because I'm having kind of a weird ankle thing right now. So my uh, cleat on my other shoe, I already adjusted it and my knee feels so much better than my ankle that I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other one too. I remember like all the passes and the towns and stuff, but I forget all of this stuff that, you know, takes some time. In my head it was like, okay, steamboat, a couple hours later you're at the top of Lynx Pass, then you're in Radium, but that's not the case. There's a lot of riding between Steamboat and Lynx. Just ran into a northbound tour. I've been trying to ditch my bear spray. Um, and so I asked that guy if he wanted some bear spray. And he said yes. So a little lighter up Lynx Pass. There's one more little climb before a long descent down into Radium that I'm excited about. All right, creek crossing. I'm gonna take my shoes and socks off so I have dry feet. The ride into and out of radium was really difficult for me. The GoPro died so I couldn't record any of it, but um, between just like being kind of tired and hot and the road was kind of crummy with a lot of truck traffic and stuff, I was like ready to be done with that part. I just woke up from a nap. Um, I got pretty warm and it was making me really tired. Also the fact that I didn't sleep a whole lot last night <laughs> also makes me tired. At the top of you Pass. It's the uh, third one for today. A lot of climbing. Oh yeah, time to drop into Silverthorn. Good morning from Lake Dillon between uh, Oh my gosh, where am I? I'm tired. <laughs> Climbing up Boreas Pass from Breckenridge. It's one of my favorite climbs of the route. Nice and gradual and get to take single track down. Oh man, I love Colorado. So yesterday evening I got to Silverthorn. I needed a pretty big resupply there. I got there at about 9 o'clock, went to Target, and then after that, I went to Chipotle, and a lot of my resupplies recently have been like after hours. Um, so the only thing that's open is like a 24 hour gas station, which means I've been eating a lot of gas station burritos. It felt really good to put some different food in my body in that Chipotle burrito and oh my gosh, guacamole, most delicious food the top yeah. <laughs> oh man you can see forever looks like it could rain today well yesterday I was kind of annoyed about the mag chloride treatment and how uh, it was getting all in my chain and on my bike and everything today I've been getting dusted a lot and my lungs are feeling it here comes the rain. There is uh, no shelter out here. So, you just gotta keep riding. Uh, I hate this. I don't care if it rains, I just hate thunderstorms. Fortunately, that rain was fairly short lived, but it looks like they're. I'm headed towards some more. Going up one more climb before. Descend down into Salida. Sending down to Salida. Oh yeah. All right, at the top. 
Pontchas Springs Market. Have this giant breakfast burrito. It's nighttime, but breakfast burrito. Oh man, look at that sunset. It's dark going up, Marshall. I'm hoping to get up and over and start descending before I go to sleep tonight. Morning from Marshall Pass. I was uh, planning on descending a little bit last night, but my motor skills started getting kind of bad. What a perfect morning to descend down Marshall Pass. Wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I'm almost to Sergeant's on Highway 50. I guess I should have given myself another half hour of sleep because I'm going to have to wait for the store to open. Right now on Highway 50, not my favorite, but at least there's a big shoulder. Look at that beautiful view behind me. So one of the additional challenges of being a woman on the Tour Divide is dealing with your menstrual cycle. So I started my period today. So I feel kind of crampy and tired and bleh. My legs feel good, but my uterus, not so much. <laughs> oh, I'm headed straight toward that rain. I'm kind of grumpy today. So last night, I was going up Marshall Pass, get to like the big meadow at the top, see a pair of eyes. Yell at him, you know, get out of the trail, whatever. It doesn't budge. See a second pair of eyes. I assumed it was bears, so I start backing off and it kind of like walks toward me a little bit, start backing off, backing off, and then I don't see the eyes anymore. I go like way around the road to give him some space. Then when I see him again, I think, I'm pretty sure it was moose. There were three moose up there and it wasn't bears. Either way, I don't want to get stopped by a moose either. It's pretty dark behind me. Oh man, I'm starting to kind of get that like fear fatigue. <sighs> like tired of just being scared, you know? Like with the moose last night and thunderstorms yesterday. Oh, fuck. Thunderstorms today. <sighs> Alright, here we go again. Alright, blue skies. Sun feels so good. I oh, have a nice tailwind right now. I'm panicking a little bit because my dynamo is not working. The light isn't working and it's not charging anything. I looked at the wires and I unplugged, replugged. Once I get to Del Norte, I'll do some more Googling and troubleshooting and see if I can figure out what's going on. Or worst case scenario, I just buy a bunch of battery packs. Okay, so sine wave beacon is dead, unfortunately. So I contacted support for, from sine wave. They, you know, asked about how it was behaving and based on the information I gave them, they said it's dead. And uh, not able to do a field fix, which is really frustrating. But not right ending. Plenty of people do it without dynamos, so it's all right. Oh man, tailwind downhill. It's 1:45 in the morning. I'm in the Del Norte City Park bathroom. Uh, before I went to sleep, a nice man came by and was like, "Hey, um, just so you know, uh, I turned off the sprinklers for you." I was like, "Oh great! I wasn't even thinking about sprinklers." Fast forward to uh, about five minutes ago, I start hearing this weird noise, and uh, it's the sprinklers. Most of my stuff made it out okay. My puffy jacket is soaked. Um, hopefully it's dry enough out here that it's gonna dry out before. Um, before I wanna take off in the morning. One of the best sunrises of the whole trip. Alright, I'm going up Indiana Pass. Highest point on the divide. It's steep enough that it's taking more effort than it's worth on the single speed. So hiking for now. It's about 10am. 
The clouds are building. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm going as fast as I can. Which isn't very fast. Oh, I've been working so hard. Trying to get down from this damn mountain. I forgot I need to eat. Oh, I don't know if you can see all those bugs, but oh my gosh. I need to put a hat on so they don't get all in my hair. Oh, it feels so good to be descending. There's rain over there. Heavy rain in the forecast, so we'll see with the, see about what I get hit with. More rain. Oh, and sleet. Gross. About ready to drop down into Platoro. And it is raining. Isn't this valley just gorgeous? I'm not sure if it's just that stuff is starting to get hard or it's like the amount of time it's passed, but I'm not starting to really listen to it. Just keep thinking about how Oh man, I was tired. I was starting to fall asleep. Um, so I took a 10 minute nap and went straight into REM sleep. Like, straight into dreaming. Oh, more rain. The layers look cool. Oh, I'm on the struggle bus today. I can like barely turn my gear over. Finally out of rain gear. Rained from about noon until five. Pretty consistently with a few breaks, but I could always see it, so I pretty much always had my rain gear on. So now I'm like clammy and gross. Okay, made it to New Mexico. Well, there's more rain and it's forecasted to rain for the whole rest of the time I'm gonna be out here. I got like six hours of sleep last night. Um, I thought that that might help. Um, you know, so I stopped for seven or something. But I'm still just like really <laughs> pumped out. I hate feeling like I'm ready to be done, but damn, I'm ready to be done. <laughs> it's just like, it feels like uh, I'm riding on this stupid highway in the rain to make it to this arbitrary finish line and I don't want to be doing this type of riding. <sighs> yeah, I need an attitude adjustment, but it's and I'm trying to like think of what I am enjoying and it's just really hard right now. So I'm going to try and do some music doping, podcast doping and see if maybe that'll help cuz I'm just God, I'm just ugh. Ugh. Started listening to music, took a five hour energy, and gave myself a serious pep talk. That was essentially like, okay, like before you started this thing, you said you wanted to do it as fast as you could. You have to fucking try. You stop feeling sorry for yourself. So, I'm trying. Ooh, all I want to do is stay in my warm sleeping bag right now. Last night I found a nice tree with a bunch of garbage under it to sleep under. <laughs> it was the last tree for a while actually. So that was a good call. Thunderstorm last night that I rode through and it was just like total down for. Stayed warm in my sleeping bag. Andrew finished early this morning. You're awesome, I love you. Can't wait to see you. You know, I think women should get a time bonus for having to pee in the rain. Because the whole thing. Yesterday I stopped to pee and some guy and a truck came by and once he once he drove by, then I was like, alright, he's gone, I can pee, pull down my pants, start to pee, and he's reversing down the highway to make sure I'm okay. And I've 
got my pants down and everything. He's like, are you okay? Like, I'm just trying to pee. Gross. Uh, wow. Some heavy, heavy rain. I miss being in the woods. I've been chased by dogs five times since last night. I'm just leaving the travel stop uh, about five miles past Grants, New Mexico. That's where I decided to do my food resupply um, since it would be a little less busy. It has been an interesting experience traveling uh, solo on my bike as opposed to with Andrew. I feel like more people talk to me um, and want to know what I'm doing. So there was one woman asking what I was doing and everything. She said, well, let me buy your next meal, and she gave me a $20 bill. That was really kind. Stuff like that like makes me want to cry now because I'm tired. I'm in a little pocket of sun. It feels pretty amazing. So in 2018, I had to replace my rain pants in Pinedale, and then we had no more rain the whole rest of the time. This time, I had to uh, get more sunscreen and I think I've put sunscreen on like maybe twice since then. I'm trying really hard to stay under this sky and to outrun the storm behind me. Somebody had a bad time on this road. Fortunately it is dried out right now. I wanted to find a small stand of trees that's not behind the fence. So wait out this thunderstorm, it's fucking scary. So I'm uh, currently in the lightning position. In a thunderstorm. Um, believe it or not, it's getting further away. Um, but before I stopped, um, I felt electricity go through my hands. Um, and that was pretty scary. I hate thunderstorms, and that's never happened to me before, and, um, yeah, so I'm pretty scared right now. Um, uh, well, that was one of the scariest things that has ever happened to me. The sun is starting to come out. Um, I'm headed that way, though, so I'm gonna give it another minute to clear up. Well... I can't say that that rainbow was worth getting the shit scared out of me, but uh, that's probably the best rainbow I've ever seen in my life. All right, I am just leaving the toaster house. I stayed here last night to kind of recoup and uh, try and get my head on straight again um get some rest and I actually took a shower for the first time since I've been out here so oh, please no thunderstorms today it's a foggy morning leaving Pie Town I did not want to leave I really honestly don't want to do this I don't want to finish it like I just want to be done man that thunderstorm just really freaked me out yesterday and I know there's gonna be more and I'm really anxious about it. Oh man, it's kind of hard to see very far. Oh, my body is pretty fatigued. I lost my balance. Fell down right in front of these cows. How embarrassing. Ah, some much appreciated sun. I'm pretty wrecked right now. I rode so hard yesterday, like getting chased by dogs and thunderstorms. I just feel my legs are so tired. My brain is so tired. Despite that rest I took at the toaster house. Maybe try and drink a Red Bull and see if that helps. I just like can't even turn my gear over right now to go even up this like gradual hill. Back in the forest. Beautiful morning. The uh, clouds are starting to build though. Oh man, I don't love the look of those clouds. 
All right, back into some trees. That makes me feel a little bit better. It's a little warmer than I thought today. I have enough water, but I've been kind of uh, drinking sparingly. So lucky for us, it's we've had all this precipitation and I can fill up here. I feel really lucky to have good weather again. There have been thunderstorms around, but I haven't had to ride through one yet. I probably shouldn't speak too soon. Look at how beautiful this is. This creek. It's perfect out here. Going up. Hey, bear. Oh, I just saw a bear cub. I go ahead and back off a little bit here and talk really loud and let that bear get back to its mama wherever it is. Do you find your mom? I sure hope so. I guess I need to be louder. Whoo! Let my guard down about bears. I'm gonna go down the road now. Hopefully you went away. Don't need any funny business. Not a bad view, despite the burned trees. Well, that descent was amazing. I wish I could have got more footage, but I've been trying to uh, avoid this situation behind me. <sighs> there were a couple of pretty close lightning strikes. And now I'm so freaking paranoid that it, like I always feel like there's electricity running through my body. It's... A beautiful night, I'm still in my t-shirt. The sky is just absolutely gorgeous. I can see so many stars in the Milky Way. Hopefully it's my last night of riding. Getting so close. I made it to Silver City. Um, I'm eating at Sonic and uh, doing some chores. Need to leave my chain, pump up my tires, put some KT tape on like the front of my leg feels weird. Um, sunscreen. Go get some more food and water, all the things, and then head to the border. Okay, I have about 100 miles to go. Forecast calls for thunderstorms, scattered thunderstorms this afternoon. Really hopeful that I don't have to ride through any lightning again. Oh man, already hot and having a nap today. Um, rode through the night last night. Hoping I'd have enough energy to push through today, but oh, I have a feeling I'm going to be taking a lot of naps. Um, but I'm just so excited to get to the end and um, see Andrew and my parents. So I had to at least try. <laughs> it might come back to bite me, but um, yeah, I just I had to try. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. the hottest I have been so far so I stopped at the training post here to have a coke and some ice cream it's like three o'clock though so eventually it'll cool off well it just wouldn't be right if I was dry on the last day 33 miles to go final countdown all right less than five miles I am absolutely wrecked Oh, that was so hard.